Saint Gontran, Merovingian, 593, Frankish. Saint Gontran was son of King Clotaire, and grandson of King Clovis and Saint Clotildis. Being the second son, whilst his brother Shribert reigned at Paris, and Sigebert in Austrasia, residing at Metz, he was crowned King of Orleans and Burgundy in 561, making Chalons his capital. When compelled to take up arms against his ambitious brothers in the Lombards, he made no other use of his victories, under the conduct of a brave general called Mamal, than to give peace to his dominions. The crimes in which the barbarous manners of his nation involved him he effaced by tears of repentance. The prosperity of his reign, both in peace and war, condemns those who think that human policy cannot be modeled by the maxims of the gospel, whereas nothing can render a government more flourishing. He always treated the pastors of the church with respect and veneration. He was the protector of the oppressed, and the tender parent of his subjects. He gave the greatest attention to the care of the sick. He fasted, prayed, wept, and offered himself to God night and day as a victim ready to be sacrificed on the altar of his justice, to avert his indignation which he believed he himself had provoked and drawn down upon his innocent people. He was a severe punisher of crimes in his officers and others, and, by many wholesome regulations, restrained the barbarous licentiousness of his troops. But no man was more ready to forgive offenses against his own person. With royal magnificence he built and endowed many churches and monasteries. This good king died on the 23rd of March in 593, in the 68th year of his age, having reigned 31 years and some months. Reflection there is no means of salvation more reliable than the practice of mercy, since our Lord has said it, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall find mercy. Amen.